Hello there my friends, John here, and when I'm out and about, whether for a quick day hike or even a multi-day backpacking excursion, one item that I almost always have with me is my trusty old smartphone. And no, it's not for sitting around playing on Facebook or making calls from the top of a mountain when I'm supposed to be enjoying the wilderness. It's actually for uh, the use of the camera. I love taking those uh, shots that we get to see when we're out in these beautiful locations. Uh, those once-in-a-lifetime shots just to preserve the memories. Now one of the problems I've ran into is that I'll take said shot, get it home, only to find that it's all blurry or out of focus and it's just really disappointing because there's no getting that moment back. So how do we remedy this without bringing a lot of bulky camera equipment along such as um, you know a dedicated camera, a tripod, accessories, uh, those things can all get rather heavy. Now, we can actually use items that we already have with us to do this. Uh, of course, we'll need our cell phone along with our trekking pole. Now, the problem comes in, how do we mount the phone, which has absolutely no mounting capabilities, to a trekking pole, which also has no mounting capabilities? Well, the answer is really simple, and it's on my wrist right here. That is a rubber band. Now, this weighs is practically nothing. I'm sure it weighs something, but for all intents and purposes, it weighs nothing. Now, we'll just take this rubber band and we'll put it on one side of our cell phone, like so. We'll take our trekking pole and on the back side, center that phone, wrap the rubber band around, and attach that in place, just like so. Now, we'll go ahead and center that up. We'll want to make sure that our lens is completely unobstructed and that the rubber bands do not interfere with the touch screen and thus the controls of the phone itself when we want to take that picture. Next, we'll just go ahead and firmly slide in place our trekking pole into the ground. And as you can see, we have a nice level surface. The only thing left to do is to set the timer on the uh, camera itself, press the go button, sit back and wait to get that killer crisp shot. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and if so, please feel free to give us a big thumbs up. It lets us know you enjoyed it, and we really appreciate it besides. And for more related videos, we've included some links right here for you to enjoy. Until next time, take the best of care, and we'll be seeing you soon.